to sketch the curve with parametric equations x equals sine t and y equals sine squared t, we should first see if we can eliminate the parameter t and thus get a familiar equation in y and x. So looking at these parametric equations, do you notice any simple relationship between x and y? Hopefully, it's easy to see that y is just the square of x. We see that y is equal to sine squared of t, but that's the same as sine of t squared, which is indeed x squared. So the point xy is going to travel along the parabola y equals x squared, but that isn't the full story. We're asked to sketch the parametric curve, so you may be tempted to just say, well, y equals x squared, that's a parabola we've graphed a thousand times, and there it is, we're done. But that would be wrong. You can't just suggest that this is an ordinary parabola going on infinitely in either direction. Based on the parametric equations defining this curve, there are some unusual restrictions. Notice that x is equal to sine t, and we know that sine cannot exceed positive or negative 1. Similarly, y is sine squared t, and sine squared can't exceed positive 1 either. So we have to consider those restrictions on the values for x and y based on their parametric descriptions. Hence, the correct sketch would have this parabola, but only between x equals negative 1 and x equals positive 1. And that looks like this. You can see instead of the arrowheads, we have just closed circles indicating that those are the endpoints, so to speak, of this parabola. It goes out to negative 1, 1 and positive positive one, one. And again, that's because the parametric equations force restrictions on x and y that wouldn't otherwise be there. Now, as for the direction that a particle on this curve would travel, sine t is a periodic function. So the particle will go back and forth on this curve infinitely as t increases. But when t equals zero, x and y will both be zero, and then as t increases, x initially will increase also. So the starting direction is that way, towards positive one. But once the particle gets over there, it will make its way back, and then it will continue bouncing back and forth along the parabola. So because the particle will travel in both directions along this curve, I don't want to draw a single arrow suggesting that it only goes a single direction. Drawing a few arrows like this more accurately communicates what's happening. The particle goes back and forth, and this is an accurate sketch of the parametric curve.